Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on the Road Dog DX Army, the R-O-double-G. Um, this character is not mine. Uh, I only have it for this preview and then uh, Scopely will be taking it back as usual. So uh, we have finally Road Dog in the game and um, Probably the best thing about him, in my in my opinion, is going to be the coach here. Uh, with so many people having Mela, you can see what it does uh, to purple submission moves. And I can tell you, I did put um, Road Dog and Natalia on, and went on the road and and found a Natalia, and her sub did not do any damage with both of them coaching. So, uh, it is possible to take Mela's sub damage to zero. Um, tried, tested, confirmed myself. At least at the time of this video. Uh, his links, the Degeneration X, which uh, will do nothing for him, because uh, he doesn't have purple moves. And the uh, Attitude Era gems do 10% more damage. Uh, gear, he doesn't have any special gear, just his normal stuff. He's an aggressive showboat. Um... And he has some moves. Let's look at those. Uh, first move set I'm going to run. Actually, before that, I want to cover this. He has one move that, so far as I can tell, is completely useless. That's the inverted leapfrog body guillotine. I, at this point, see no use at all to make reinforced gems, so um, I won't be using that one. Uh, the shaky knee drop makes four random uh, gems into red gems. So I guess you maybe could use it, but I don't see it being uh, useful. It doesn't flow with anything, so I also won't be using that move in this preview. Um, maybe later on, potentially, or something. Um, yeah. So anyway, first move set. Um, we're going to run the pump handle drop. That's his finisher. Uh, destroys six random yellow gems, does 66k damage. Uh, the falling inverted suplex is about 30k damage. Make five random black gems into yellow. And the free fall drop, 33k damage and make five rando gems into yellow gems. Um, for coaches, I'm going to run with um, Ziggler to make more yellows. Uh, Sting to start to get those reds started. Uh, X Pac. Um, to help the reds charge faster for when we need to recycle could also run rikishi and um charlotte she's the berserker coach if we take a bunch of damage um we will do more damage um i do want to say this move set is available for him at three star so starting at three star you can run this move set um possible other great alternative coaches would be hall of fame booker t um, he would add a little more yellow gem damage and create one more yellow, so he would be good in there. Um, I think that's probably about it um, for other trainers for this one. You could also potentially, I guess, use um, Zombie Nakamura, and the finisher would uh, destroy more and do more damage. But um, And I did try that. It just seemed like I ran out of gas too often. Um, I tried that moveset about three times, four times, and I did this one about uh, four times, and I felt like this one played way better um, than the other one. So we're going to go against Vader on the road like usual. He's not strapped. We're not strapped. Um, I do have two perks. So plus two MP, um, not the three, the plus two. And uh, I think matching gems is uh, plus one. We can take a look when we get in here. Uh, matching gems is plus one, yeah. So ideally we want a red match um, out the gate so both yellows are ready next turn. We have that, so that's good. And then a little cascade there, I can handle that. So, 
Road Dog, um, in his build sets, the big problem is he can't really win first time through. Uh, so you're having to recycle, but his moves don't lend themselves super well to recycling. And I'm gonna hold that one back because we're gonna need to do the we're gonna need to do a lot of damage, so or get a lot of turns through, and that'll recharge the yellow again. Oh, that was a nice little cascade. And I could use could have used Hall of Fame Booker and we'd be making one more yellow, but a little bit more rare, so I think the majority of you uh, probably won't have Hall of Fame Booker. If you do, obviously he's going to play a little bit better. And here's where he starts to really slow down and, and run out of steam. So we have to get a red match um, or a yellow match. Luckily, um, Vader didn't get started too fast. The uh, coaching ability is going to be huge on him. Um, with all the melas out there, it's going to be interesting what that does to uh, purple subs in general, but in particular, mela. This one's going to hurt a little bit. So, I could hit the finisher, um, but it wouldn't keep him down. So, gonna refill my my reds, and then hopefully do enough damage to to keep him down after using the the reds and then the yellow. And this is more Road Dog's problem. It's not that he's like horrible. Um, uh, he just uh, doesn't have enough oomph to finish the matches quick enough, so he's going to take a lot of damage. It's got some pretty cool move animations, though, so, I mean, that's nice. We should be able to get him next turn. And like I said, this moveset uh, will be available for him at 3-star. He's going to be a good coach on uh, any female um, anytime you're going against a purple sub-user. So. And let's hope this does it. Should do it. And uh, Zombie Nakamura might work better. It buffs the finisher 30%, gets it to about 8k. Um, so you're hitting a lot more yellows and kind of recycling the finisher, but you can run out of yellows, uh, although you are um, making the, the two different sets. Uh, but they, they play fairly similar. This one just felt a little bit safer to me. Um, this particular match, it looked like Zombie Nakamura might have ran better, but also keep in mind I was making a bunch of extra yellows. So uh, that was about a yeah 47 health pack win. And... Um, that's probably, I wouldn't say normal for that moveset, maybe a little bit more, but it's right in there. 
um, about 28 to, to 50 health packs are a run at Vader um, on that move set. So that's the three star move set. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the four star. This is the move set I like the most. It's a tricolor build. It's available at four star. Um, it does give him a little more pop, a little bit uh, board dependent um, as well. So we're going to put in, um, come back here. There we go. We're going to put in the Avalanche Pile Driver, um, which deals 9k damage and, and increases your yellow gem damage by 98% for four turns at five star. Obviously, won't be quite that strong at four star, um, but it does give him a little bit more pop. Um, so that's pretty useful. Going to keep the same trainers so we can hopefully get the yellows going. And I do have two perks. So the black is ready turn one. And every time you get a black match, you can um, stack the buff. So uh, it's possible to get a pretty nice buff going. You get two or three of those stacked. Uh, so we don't have any red, we don't have any yellow, uh, we do have a black match. Unfortunately it's going to leave him a green taking that, so that could come back to bite me a little bit. Again, no blacks, uh, no reds, no yellows, not, not the most favorable board here. Okay, so you can see with the two boosts, the yellows are up to 14k a piece. So pretty nice. And now the finisher, we're going to destroy six more, um, six more yellows. Get a nice little little boost out of there but it it won't be enough to keep him down uh, on a good board I was able to keep him down the first time uh, with that I had three three buffs um, I got a four row break and hit a black and things just went pretty well and I was able to keep him down but that was a very good board Again, possible alternate coaches. You could put Booker T in there. Um, you could put Rikishi. And you can see the problem with Road Dog. Unless you get that red match, it can be a little bit rough. Uh, he semi-recycles the yellow, so if you get a yellow match, um, that does help. But... Yeah. And you want to try to get out of the pins quick because the longer you're in the pins, it takes away your boost. Um, and he really needs that boost to have a chance. So we're still at 14k with our gems. And again, I don't know if the finisher's going to do it. So um, this, this is Road Dog's... Um, major issue. Although as a coach he's going to be amazing so I'm going to level him up um, for the coach because that's going to make my life against Mel as easy. So 170k and we got the win. I did get when it went perfectly um, one time I got a three health pack win with this one I would not expect that. I wouldn't expect to be able to duplicate that. Um, this one seems fairly normal. Most of this one, um, the the wins were in the the low twenties to to mid thirties health pack wise. So it felt like the best build out of all three that I ran um, when I was testing.
and that one was a 33 health pack win. So fairly, fairly normal, maybe a little bit worse board. Um, you know, just kind of depends how it goes, but overall an okay build. It's, it's kind of fun to play. It just takes too many health packs. I wish it recycled a little bit better or hit a little bit harder. Maybe if that black was two MP and the, you know, the finisher was a little bit beefier. I don't know, but still, you know, it is what it is. So let's get in here and check out the final build, which is his five star build. Um, it's going to use the five star move. So we're going to do, 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 do. We're going to pop in the shake, rattle and roll. And we're still going to keep the, um, free fall, uh, drop. And then I'm just going to swap out Dolph for Zombie Nakamura. And here you'll get to see the boost on the damage to the finisher, as well as the other um, yellow move. Now the reason why I um, decided to go with Nakamura is you're getting double benefit on the destroys. Uh, we're not going to very often have 10 of each on the board, but um, it is pretty useful. And this one, this move set, obviously it's five star, so a lot of us won't uh, be getting anywhere near it. But this is the five star move set, so let's get in here and see how that one looks. Hall of Fame Booker T would definitely help this one too, so we'd be making six randos into yellow. Ideally, red or yellow on the opening board. Red is better. So that's a nice start. That's a really nice start. All right. I'll take that. And if we catch, um, catch a yellow, you could also use Rikishi, like I've said, um, for the trainer. Hmm. Too bad we didn't catch at least one yellow. Then we could have been rolling right away. I'll let him get his green so I can get my yellow. This one can recycle a little bit better, assuming you have the colors on the board. It is going to cause a lot of pins, though, because we're breaking a lot of gems. Boy, that wasn't cool. Hopefully we can get one yellow match and hit the finisher. Or not. Hmm. Yeah, I know he's a he's a free character, but he definitely isn't as good as some of the past ones for sure. And as far as showboats, like he's no he's definitely no typhoon. But again, his coach ability is amazing, so that's what I am looking at him for is that coach ability. On the plus side though, we can get like I said semi recycle here. We hit the reds, and then um, the yellows, there's enough on the board to get a full recycle. Because we're going to destroy 10, and it's an 11 charger. So it'll be ready to go again next turn. And so will the destroy red. So this moveset is, is definitely 
his probably most consistent one, but it still suffers from a lot of pins and showboat uh, gem damage. There we go. That did it. So potentially maybe his best move set, but it is five star. I like the four star set a lot. Um, that was my favorite of them. Again, when I'm looking at Road Dog, I'm looking at his coach and what it'll do for me against Carmella, uh, who is a free character and a lot of people's best female. So this month, I would highly recommend leveling up Road Dog um, at least. Let's take a look here and see the coaching levels. Take him at least to 9k for that 55%. Um, so go at least four star bronze with him. Uh, the 15,000 is going to be fairly hard to reach um, long term. So I would say aim for 9k this month. At the very least, you have to do 5k in my opinion. Um, because people, if they're using Mela and have Nikki, they can still stack a little more uh, sub damage. So even if you do double, it'll still do some damage if they're using Nikki. But not nearly as much and also zombie brock if he's 9k but between the two of them that's really gonna make it rough on on carmela's out there so i would aim for sure for 9k if possible if not then at least go 5k but 9k would be better and then use her with natalia to co combat uh, the carmela's on your coaches anyway guys i hope you like this video i gotta go get ready for work so um Remember to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and I will have my uh, Trish preview out later. Uh, probably late tonight for me. So uh, quite a while after this one because i got to go to work. So um, thanks again, guys. Uh, good luck out there.